Hello, I'm Jenny Liori Sam, or I'm a PhD student at the École Nationale des Bois Français in France and at the INRIA Research Centre. And we're working on a collective taxi system. Actually, we are interested in creating um, a new transportation mode um, as, um, in which we can associate more than one passenger to each vehicle in an optimized way. So, um, maintaining a high quality of service with um, affordable rates by almost everyone, so people can do afford them. You have a similar system like that in New York, but it covers only two avenues, while well, we want to cover the entire urban area. Uh, of Paris or, or oh, uh, any, uh, any, any, Paris. any area. Well, well, actually, I just gave an example for Paris, because we have data from Paris, I live there but it, it's supposed to work in any, any, uh, any region. Actually, um, transportation system, I mean, uh, in, in Europe, we do have lots of transportation, public transportation system, but we all know that conditions are awful. The, the, and we find out that people prefer to move around by car. And, but you know, that's not always affordable. I mean, you can all, not always pay a, a taxi, private taxi, it's very expensive. And with, under crises and for economy reasons and for energy problems, it's, sometimes it's, it's not very intelligent to have just one passenger to each vehicle. If we can share it, we can save energy and money for, for the vehicle and for the client too. And so what happens nowadays, especially in North Africa, um, they do exist systems like that where taxis accept more than one passengers, but itineraries are not optimized. And so people do many detours and that costs a lot of time and it's really bad. What are other systems that are happening, in, especially in England, is uh, systems of car sharing, car pulling, but then it's very time cons consuming because you have to find the other passengers and itineraries have to be fixed and you have to organize timetables. Well, I would be great if I could, I mean, just go for shopping and as soon as I finish, find a collective taxi at the roadside who can bring me back home for twice the price, for instance, the, of the public transportation, of the public transport, okay? The first or is if, are, if it could be comparable to the public transport fares. So, um, but that needs a lot of work because you have, there are many questions. First of all, how many vehicles will you apply, or will you employ? And then when you can accept a client and if you accept him, what is going to be the vehicle size optimal itinerary? So it has to be um, a more systematic work. You cannot just employ vehicles and let them downtown and try on a trial and error basis. That would be a risk, financial risk, not to mention the client's dissatisfaction. So, as an engineer, uh, we, we try to, opt to apply optimization and opt operational research methods in order to assign in an optimal way more than one client to each, to each vehicle. In order to do such a system, in order to evaluate such a system, what you need from a scientific point of view, you need a mathematical model to which we, you can apply all these methods. But it's such a complex system because you have to model clients' behaviour, vehicles' behaviour, network, and that's, it's, it's impossible. It, if you want to, to describe the system with great precision, it's impossible. So what do we have to do that is we decided to create a, a simulator which simulates clients, vehicles, networks, and it's, which is a able to evaluate our decisions, our control algorithms. And if, if uh, for instance, I can, I can invent a policy and then I can see if it's a good one or not by the simulator. The simulator give, gives me all the results I need because it, it keeps track of all treated events. And by simulation results, then I can optimize my, my decisions. But from a scientific point of view, we are, re we are almost ready. What, what we are here, that's what I presented here, is it was a methodology for how we can apply in an optimal way a, coll a collective taxi system in an urban area covering downtown and the suburbs, not only just uh, a few avenues or whatever. And uh, we developed, uh, we started three, almost three years and a half ago. And uh, because it took me uh, approximately two years and a half to create the simulator.
because it had to be precise and correct and valid. And then we are, at that moment, we are, um, we are about to implement policies and strategies because we want to have clients with or without reservations. Uh, some, I mean, if, let's say that you, uh, you're appearing at the roadside and you just need to find finding a vehicle or sometimes you prefer to book a seat in advance. So if you want to go to the airport or if you're going to go to the opera or for whatever reasons. Actually systems like that do exist in France, in Provence, but mostly for elderly people. And they can only, co I mean, they can only book a seat in advance. You, if you go downtown for shopping or to meet friends, uh, you have to, I mean, it's impossible to find such a system. That would be great from a client's point of view. It's very, very good because, I mean, especially with low fares, everybody can afford it. But then you know that, I mean, uh, uh, for, for instance, uh, taxi drivers are not going to be happy because in Paris they only need to work twice, two or three uh, hours per day and they have a salary, okay, they can earn their life. Well, mines, I don't want to have vehicles empty, uh, so they are, so my drivers are supposed to work a lot and, to, and hard. And I don't know if, if they're going to be happy about that. that that's that's why, I mean, on my research centre, so my team, uh, Imara, uh, people do develop uh, automated vehicles. And that would be great for me. When, 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 because actually my driver, it's not him who decides for the itinerary. It's an algorithm, I mean, because it's optimised. Uh, so the driver only needs to, to, to bring the car from one point to another. Only needs, uh, and so if I can have automated vehicles, then the, the, the itinerary is going to be, pro I mean, it's going to be a software in the car. We're going to say, okay, from, for going from node A to node B, from going to, from the, to op, from opera, for, let's say in Paris, to uh, Sacré-Cœur, for instance, then you have to go through these nodes and these nodes. So it would be, it would be great, and, it, and we could apply such a system. Because, because um, I mean, we don't touch taxi drivers, and it's something different. I have I have done a master on optimization, and another master on a, um, a computer science, algorithmic computer science, and that's what we're using here. We're using optimization, optimal control, stochastic optimal control methods, and we're developing a software for evaluating our our that's a, a double. Uh, competent. Uh, normally in France you're supposed to have it by the end of the third year but they found out that I did I mean I, I, we asked for a supplementary year but they and they found out the jury found out it, that I will I work hard and it's the subject that demands more time so they said okay you're gonna have your one more year I know that in Germany and in America and United States things are different but in France I mean a fourth year is it's not very it's very unusual but finally the end is they, it's very rare and they said we have to uh, to see if it's the subject who needs because i i had to spend more than two two years just for creating the tool to va to validate the the decisions and and the idea of the of the phd is not developing a software but creating an optimized transportation system so once you have the software and you can proceed to, uh, to optimization method. Yes, it's, uh, we call them in, in France a master. Uh, so, be uh, because you, you, you see in our days, it's difficult to do mathematics just with a pencil and a paper. You, you, you need to program, you know how to program. And it's not only knowing the programming language. Knowing programming langu language, just speaking in a foreign language, it's how you're going to program something because it has to be optimized the way you program. So if, if for instance, I know, that I'm, I know that when I meet a person, I'm supposed to say, hello, sir, how are you doing? Then I can translate that to German, to Italy, to uh, France, but I'm supposed to know that. And that's what my master, I mean, I learned my master how to program correctly. It was an algor algorithm part. Yes. I'm considering myself some, like somebody who really works to work hard and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to learn because mathematician, if you don't have enough experience, it's not just because I have studied, studied for three years 
mathematics or just I have done a, a master of two years that I can consider myself as an expert. It's, it's experience and work that gives. And it's not always the pay by paper, it's just for the company. When I go to the company, they will say, ask me, okay, may I have a proof that you do have study? It's, that's what the school gives you, actually. Just a paper. Well, my plans is that to go on with with that. I mean, that, that that these are my plans. I don't know if I can I mean, realize them, but to go on with this, this study because uh, I cannot say that after by, by the end of December when I'm going to have my PhD, I cannot say that that this study is over and it's completed. Because, you know, when you treated a real problem, real-time problem, things change, all the time change. And you have to update your, your, your uh, researches. You have... So I would like to continue in this area, just everybody, I mean, everybody wants to. And I'll do my best, but I know that it's very hard. Because from a scientific point of view, it's very interesting. But then it's not me or people who decide. It's the yes. decisions, unfortunately, come from the top and not from the bottom. You know, uh, when you do research, y normally you don't earn lots of money. And if, if I want, to, um, that's, what I, that's what my teacher, my professor says to me, you're not going to apply your own collective taxes in Paris because it costs too much. I, unless I earn a lot or some, I want a lot or something, lottery. But, but, but I know that people are, are interested. And I know that privacy, private domains do have the power. I mean, if, if, if a private industry wants to apply it, they can. It, it depends. I mean, in, in, in Europe, there, I, can, I can find more often women in that domain. But as soon as I came to this conference, um, I only saw myself and another young lady. No, but, I mean, it was, I was just surrounded by men. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but perhaps it's, it's because it's the domain, it's mathematics and many women don't like mathematics or computer science or they do prefer other sort of, of uh, researches earning more money because you see here what I'm doing is I'm working very hard and I don't know if I'm going to have a, a big salary. Well, if I, if I had chosen, chosen something else, I, I, perhaps I could have the double three times my, my actual salary and perhaps it's encouraging, that's very encouraging because a woman needs more than money. I mean, you only wear a shirt. I mean, well, I have to wear so many other and I like to spend money. Or sometimes it's the opportunities. Uh, um, there are people that, that they are not trusting you. They say, oh, well, she's a woman, she's not going to be able to. But I think that brains, everybody has brains and if we want to use them, we can use them. A man or a, a woman can use its brains. It's a matter of will. Of course, I said, because when you decide what you're going to do, you, you're not supposed to say, I'm a woman, I'm not going to, I'm not going to succeed. It's, it's going to be very difficult. Of course, sometimes you have to fight and you have to persuade men that you are able to do um, what they can do. But, um, I mean, in life, we are happy when we, when, when we like what we are doing. And that's very, I mean, it's a very good motive. I mean, it's, uh, it's a very encouraging. And sometimes that, um, I mean, um, I had to, to pass in front of a jury when I had to start my PhD, were about 10 or 12 candidates. And I was the only girl. And I said, um, they're not going to accept me. Of course they, they won't. But then I said, okay, let's forget. Let's forget that and go in front of the jury, present what you have to do, do your best, and the result is up to them. I'm not going to do the work to predict the, 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 the decision of the jury. I'm, I said, I'm going to be there, I'm going to do my best, and then the result, whatever it may happen, may happen. And um, I was very surprised. I was really very surprised when they called me and they told me, you have the PhD and you have the fellowship. Go, go, go with it. And I'm telling you, the jury was in, um, comprised of men and the other candidates were men too. So, 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 so you see, well, because when you like what you do, you do your best. And when you want something, in England people say, well, when there is a will, there is a way. And, and, and so I forget that I was 
I don't know, I'm just a woman. I forget that I was surrounded by men. I, um, I, I try not to think about that, but unfortunately, the others do. Yes, of course, when, when you want to do something, you're, you're not supposed to say, I'm not going to even, not even to try, just because it's only for men. Uh, if they do that, they, I mean, they, they're just putting obstacles and they're closing doors by themselves. I mean, they, they, they have to say, I like it and I'll do my best to have it, no matter what. I mean, look, uh, for instance, uh, on the, let's have the, thing, the things on the other side. Uh, hairdressers, there are many men, there are f many men, there are hairdressers, or in France, the best uh, chefs uh, are men. However, it's a woman who normally prepares food or whatever. I, I, I mean, for both sides, for men and women, they're not supposed to say, I'm not going to try because this is only for women or this is only for men. Things must, must change. I know that changes don't come that easily, but little by little, and with, uh, with, I mean, they, they have to because we cannot say, uh, of course, I cannot be a builder. I haven't, haven't got enough muscles. But there are women that they can be there. They are, I mean, I, I can see them. And uh, uh, If you see that you like something and you're able to do it, then you have to go on and forget this is only for men, this is only for women. I'm very excited, I'm very excited. I was very surprised uh, a couple of days ago when I entered the, the theatre and I was surrounded by men. But then I said, okay, it doesn't matter. Well, then of course necessarily it comes to mind, oh yes, they're going to see you with a dress and they're going to say she, because people unfortunately, not most, of, not all of them, but many of them, they say, oh, she's a young lady, what well, she's going to have, she's going to have a baby and prefer, prepare the food. But no, that's not only true, because I can do things what they can do, as they can do what I can do, I mean, both ways. So sometimes it... Uh, Unfortunately, it's still true in our days, but perhaps after 10 years. But we have to try. If we give up now, I mean, it will never work.